you know, congratulations has to, has to be given to our coaching staff and our players in the sense when you play a game like this against a team that has a lot of, a lot of firepower in the sense that 19 returning players, they're historically one of those better teams in college football. How do you react? I thought our guys acted pretty good. But going into this, uh, I knew this was going to be a high school affair. It just felt like first, first to 10 might win. That being said, I, I thought our guys did a nice job. When things didn't go well, we didn't panic. We just kept fighting, we just kept playing football. We told them at halftime, so if I'd have told you this was the score at halftime, you would have taken it. They all looked and said, okay, that's the score. I said, we got a second half. I said, our stamina and our resolve will wear them down. We got to bet on that. And I thought for the most part it did. Got into that last five minutes. It's something we do a lot around here. Situation for the ball. Got in the young offense had the ball. They said, This is it. They should never get the ball back. Came she did now. How you want it to end is how it's going to end. But they did a good job at the end there um, knowing that when they ran out of timeouts, it's just for us to get the ball in the middle of the field, kick the field. We practiced it. So, they were well aware of the situation. It's a credit to our defense. Just <coughs> went away and you know, gave them one big pass. Did a great job of the red zone and intercepting the ball, keep the game and the score. And then the offense. We have good enough players that will make plays eventually. And the ones will make a play. You can cover it for a while. It's going to make a play. And you know that in games like this, magnitude games like this, the big players are going to make a play. He made one. Manny made one. It was it was sloppy. It was a sloppy game. It wasn't one. It wasn't. A, this was a, this was an old time pro football game. This wasn't a college game. A college game. You know, it was, it was, it was, it was, this was a rock and sloppy game. It was it was comfortable. You know, I'm used to dating games. So I just thought we kept our poise at the end and we were able to get a good win for our fan base. It was it was magnificent. Fans were into the game. The whole game. It had to be because it was a tight game. It never got out of hand for any opponent. So, I'm so happy for our football team. George, uh, congratulations. Uh, heading into the season, the defense obviously was the biggest question mark so far. They've held two teams to 20 points. What kind of testament would you say to what they've been able to do, especially against, you said, the big boy pads? Well, that's why you hired Danny Gonzalez. Tony White. And so, you know, I think they, they have really done a marvelous job. We think about 27 players played defense last week. Probably 25 played this week. A lot of young guys, freshmen, first year guys, whatever. I mean, new guys on the defense. We're not where we're going to be yet. And Danny will tell you that. But I think we're starting to develop a temperament, which is good. And this, was a, this was one of those games defensively where you had to tackle big backs. Uh, at times we missed a few. We may bounce off us, but I think for the most part to, uh, to hold them to the points. Points are always a critical part of football. At the end of the day, you can look at all that other stuff. I learned this lesson when I was with the Buccaneers. Coach, they won a lot of games, nine of them. They can't score, they can't win. So if you keep the points down, you're going to be in football game. How big was that pick? Huge. It was, it was huge. Red zone defense. It's, it's, it's something that uh, that takes points off the boards. Uh, that takes the minimum. You know, all of a sudden they get that touchdown down there. Now we're really, it's a different football game. But it was one of those games, you know, when we moved it, they made good defensive plays as well. So it was a game, really, a couple big plays here and there. The defensive they kept the score down. And just felt like whoever had the ball at the end had a chance to win when it was tied up. We're fortunate enough to get the ball back. And the offense did a fabulous job. Five minutes. Going down at the end. Michael, and then pass it back to back off that one that you said, which was tough for both teams to run the ball, but it seemed like as the game went on, those screen passes to Eno and Andy Gittman. How big was Eno's performance on those, on those plays, on the screens especially? Huge. And early in the game, um, our plan a little bit offensively was to try to run them. Let's try to run them and wear them down. Those screens, they did a great job.
your job defending. You, know, you couldn't get anything going. So we had to change our plan in the second half, and Coach Michaels was able to do that. Uh, but we felt like uh, going into the middle of the third quarter, fatigue was a little bit of a factor. I sensed it at halftime when they took a knee uh, and then called timeout. And it was because they were like, they, they, they were staying in the game. I thought, with that being said, we just needed to keep our poise in the second half. It was part of the end. I thought they had a lot of penalties in the second half. Sometimes penalties are due to fatigue. That's just a common, common factor. You're tired, you grab, you hold. And then they were a little bit fatigued. And you know what's tough? Because look, the second half, these guys were playing at what, 11.30 at night? That's hard. So we needed to use that to our advantage. I told those guys in the locker room, I said, guys, it's 12.30 now. They have to go for the second half football. That's hard for people to do. That's, that's so. Those are the things that kind of help us as well. Here, can you walk us through that final series? Uh, any thoughts of trying to get into the end zone? No. Why? How many games can you lost doing that? That silliness. No. I don't know. We were, we were, we were in good shape. They, they ran out of timeouts, and I said, when they ran out of timeouts. I said, guys, all we got to do is handle the ball. Don't try to be hero ball. We need to run. You worry about them letting you score. And I told them that they're not going to score. They let you score, don't score. They're not on one yard line. You take this clock all the way down and keep pulling. You see, you practice that scenario. Yeah, you practice, you practice it. I mean, I show it on tape. I, mean, I show different scenarios every every day we go through a scenario. And that was one that was proposed. That one, that one came up in a game, actually. It came up in a college football game. That same scenario. We messed around and lost the game because of the match a lot of that happening. You've got to be able to do that. Our players understand that. Now. They have a sense of it. We're going to go these, we're going to do three or four scenarios today. We do it every week. We do it. Go team. Put it up on a monitor. Go through it. Take the tape. Click it. So here's the time in the game. Here's what they should have done. They didn't do that. We get in this situation. We're going to do this. We got in that situation. Manny knew what to do because he came out. He was going, milk it, milk it. Yes. Clock. We'll hike it <laughs> until four seconds, let the 40 second clock run all the way down. You know, everybody was worried about we're going to get a delay. We're going to get a delay. We're just going to take time. That's what you do. You go for it. Jeff, I'm going to pass it back to Chris. Yes, yes. When you uh, came out with four wide receivers and came out with three or four of their own game, can you just uh, discuss that a little bit? And also the fact that Brandon kicked that 49 out of the goal the first time he was out of there. Well, yeah, it did, and, and, I, and you know, we knew going into this that points were going to be very difficult to, to, to get, and we wanted to get him in shape, and that's hard coming out of the 49-49 target. But he's been kicking good all week, we felt really good about him all weekend. You know, we ran through scenarios this week, put him in some situations too, running a, running a kicker out there with 13 seconds left, we wanted to get a kick off. We, we, we spot him in certain areas, we do that with the, the field goal team as well. Four wide receivers were something we had in our arsenal, which is a matter of we were going to break it out. And we had to do that in the second half. We got a couple plays. We, we hit a couple fades on them. They got a good defense. Those, those corners break fairly well. They did a really nice job. That's why we defended some plays. Frank had one, and the guy made a great strip on him over there on the boundary. But uh, it was a defensive game. That's what it was. And most fans don't like watching that. I, I kind of like it. Just, in my comfort zone, you know, I just kind of go, okay, it's going to be that way. And we just have to wait until the fourth quarter. And hopefully, if we have the ball at the end, we'll have a chance to win. And we'll 